women in tech, women in STEM, women in digital, we've heard all the phrases. This is sit up and take notice stuff. Turns out it would take a million more women in these fields to reach even critical mass in the UK alone. And it's not that different across the pond over in the US either. But here's the thing. A third of the best paid jobs for women are in technology. It's a booming industry and we're the lead adopters of new gadgetry. So why is the uptake still slow? A few commentators point out that girls might just not be as interested in tech or engineering as men are and that it's an active choice. Now personally, I'm divided on that. If you've got a view on this, please banter with me on Twitter to join the debate that's already very, very much in play. Lastly, and at the risk of getting a little contentious here, some women have confided in me that sadly it can be other women who undercut them and who are territorial. Thankfully though, this isn't the norm. The majority of successful women in these fields are doing a lot to foster new talent. The question then remains, how do we build a sustainable mentoring system for the next wave of female millennial talent? I asked four trailblazers working across this industry for their take. Here are the highlights. I'm not sure that I would want to lament the, the lack of female entrepreneurs, although I think it's very important to highlight the fact that there aren't as many female entrepreneurs as one would hope for, because what we don't highlight, we can't measure. The issue of women in technology is maybe made out to be slightly bigger than it is, and I worry that by putting it on a pedestal, we make it more of an issue than it actually is, and I just, I feel like everyone should be treated and supported equally. I'm not saying that the time, you know, for uh, talking about the issue of the lack of women in tech is over. But I think we need to lessen the talking and doing more uh, of the doing. When we first launched Deeply as a first petite clothing brand, giving customers control of what goes into production, um, after a year of success, we suddenly lost traction. So it was time to change the business model. I introduced social currency, where we pay and incentivize the voting process. So win-win for all, we get the data we need and they get to buy products at a discount. As an entrepreneur, I actually expect curveballs pretty much every day. And what's important to me is actually someone's reaction to the curveball rather than the curveball itself. I think the biggest curveball I've experienced while trying to build critical mass for my product, my company, was trying to get people on board with wearables before wearables were really popular. And I think I got around it just basically with persistence. Like I knew it was going to be big, so I just, I just kept pushing it and eventually people started to get on board. I definitely think there's a real risk of saturation of campaigns and initiatives from the government and elsewhere, pushing and encouraging people to be entrepreneurs. And frankly, not everyone is cut out for it. With the recent media attention that entrepreneurs are getting, I think there's a bit of an overkill from the government that the entrepreneurs are the new rock stars and everyone should become one. Uh, personally, I don't think everyone can. It's, it's a bit of an obsession, especially as a woman you need a support network around you uh, to make sure your family understand exactly that the business is going to take over your life, it's 24-7. If everybody wants to be a startup founder, run a company, who's going to work for the companies? I've run you know, uh, a company before and you know, there are different aspects of a business that you have to be very good at, especially you know, when managing people. I think that women who are in positions of power, who have done well, possibly don't champion other women as well as they could do, probably because of their own, their own struggle and their own challenges they faced in getting there. There are stories out there where some women felt that they haven't been supported by other women. But I think most of the time it's just miscommunication. I don't think it's intentional. It's just that you know we've got different personalities and some women you know can come across as very strong. Women do undercut other women and in fact I've been a victim of that myself. Uh, and whilst I don't condone it, I can actually understand why they do it. Firstly, it's difficult to break through that glass ceiling and there's a game that a lot of them have had to play with their male counterparts. And secondly, it must be difficult once you've gotten there and worked so hard to relinquish that. But I think the great thing is that there are more and more women progressing up in STEM and up the, the ladder that we're going to see less of that. Certainly that's my hope. It's important to have a peer role model set up because it's easier for women to relate to someone who they think it, is their equal. If you have a 10 year gap from mentor to mentee, there is a big difference in age and experience and it seems unattainable, it doesn't resonate very well. So if you have more in common, you're more likely to succeed. I do a lot of lecturing at my old university and I go back and I talk to the students and I, they get so much out of it and the feedback I get from them is always really good and I think it's because they 
look at me and they see someone who's sitting where they were sitting four years ago and to them that becomes really achievable. On a global scale, governments need to include gender equity as part of the school curriculum to encourage um, equal participation from both boys and girls into the STEM subjects before the age of 16. To create that big shift and encouraging young girls to choose STEM subjects, I think the onus is actually on us women in STEM. And I know that naturally women don't like to go out and shout about what we do and the amazing things that we do. But if we think about it, we have a duty to do that.